all right so youtube is yet another day here and then um this time around the virus system is coming up with something for you again based on how to crack um team portal 4.3 so now um you already know the installation process so these days i don't want to always go through the process again because i've already set up um my installation ready to install i've already created my database in my php ad admin i've already moved um team portal um folder into my atc docs which is only ready for the installation to carry on and i try these days to keep my tutorials short as possible as we can so right now i'm going to hit on the enter key then we start with the installation process so if i hit on enter key then we expect the installation process to start now the installation process starts you say please enter purchase code to um continue with um <coughs> your installation so now if i select a purchase code the old ones we have been using then select an email address um, by entering an email address as you can see on screen then I click on verify then it's there checking to see checking to see what happens and then it will move so uh, we are going to learn how to bypass this particular purchase code of a thing I'm um, currently I'm not connected to the internet um, that is why you are seeing it that way but if I was connected you would have seen an error message hitting back that purchase code invalid but um right now we are going to look at how we can bypass this purchase code now the installation folder is here we have an installation folder here that contains the database files and then the setup um, file if you open the setup file now this is the procedure we have there for the installation so we are supposed to pick um the verification code and everything from their website which um, um this verification is supposed to happen before the installation can go on but the good thing is that we have the database files in um, the installation folder so um, we don't need to worry much because if we're able to bypass this code we can still go on with the installation as expected so what is happening is this um, we have to rewrite what the code and then the code has already been rewritten so I have the code on my desktop here this is um, the new code I have here on my desktop so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this whole code with um, the installation folder I have in um, in here in team portal here so what I'm going to do is this I'm going to close um the file I open okay it's closed then I'll copy the new installation um rewritten code and replace it with the uh, team um, team portal existing one so I right click and paste that tells me that that folder already exists then I say yes and it tells me that replace everything then I say no problem replace everything now everything is replaced so we are going to restart our installation process then we see what happens so if I hit on um my installation process so let me clear this off then re hit on my enter key then on my enter key it comes to say okay enter database installation so we have been able to bypass um, um the purchase code now one thing is um actually just like i said i try to keep things as short as possible um i will share this file with you so you only need to replace this file with um team porter installation setup folder and then you are good to go so we have our database name as our team portal so i'll paste it here as team portal i'm um, sorry i'll just pick it from my url team portal then um my username which is root then we are supposed to provide what login details so admin email i have my email as i'm um, avinash at gmail and then my password as the same thing so then I hit on what um, set up my site then the installation process starts so it's installing on um, the software so let's give it some few minutes and when it is done then we'll be back so everything is done and it's telling me that um, um, authentication login is not visible so now let's clear the whole of this one and press on the enter key to see what happens so it's, it's loading again then our site is loaded our site is loaded but um if i should click on about look at what is going to happen it's telling me that um url not found and the reason why url not, not found is because of uh, my atc um, access file which is not set up so i need to set up this file so the only thing i need to do is i need to rename this file to um dot htc access so i remove um this text then i'll go to the beginning and add a dot and i hit on the enter key and it's telling that you must type a file name um so that means that once i can rename it here 
what I need to do is I need to open up my text editor and save it from there. So I'll open up Notepad, um, and then I'll drag my AT access file into it. Then I hit on File, Save As. Then I'll remove um, the text, dot text. Then I'll put the dot in front. And then I'll select the Save As type as all files. Then I'll save it into my folder. And that picks all right. So now our site is set and ready to go. So now if I visit back my home page, then it starts with the installation process again. And this is what happened. Now, if I open now my index file, let's open my index file. If I roll down, this is what it says. Look at what is written here. <coughs> we have um, file get content, installation, um, check install text file. Now, if this file is equal to yes, then if this file is not equal to yes, then proceed with what? Um, setup installation. So what we are going to do is that we are going to go and check this file, installer, um, look at it here. And I say that if it is not yes, it's no. So that means that it has to bring back what, the installation again. So I'll change it to yes. And then save my file. Then um, I'll close this and then reload my page. And then it takes me to the home page again. Now let's visit about and see what happens. And then it keeps on repeating um, the setup again. And this is the reason. So um, we are going to um, check another file again. So what we need to do, um, the last few things that we need to do is here. Um, um, team portal. And we have application, we have config, and then we have verify. Now verify here is no. So we need to set verify to um, yes. And then we also need to come to um, config, and then we come to um, config, and then um, our base URL is localhost this and this, team portal. So let's take it off and then leave it as blank. So the software itself will pick um, um, our base URL for us so we are done and then let's reload our website to see what happens so i have um localhost um team portal then i hit enter so our site has loaded so let's click on about to see what happens and then about and this time round we are reading about so your um team portal is set up and then you are ready to go and then you can log in and then access um your admin page and everything and then make sure that everything is running very well so if i hit on login now then we try to access our, our site by entering um, our email address at um, gmail which was our login and then our password which is um what i'm entering then we'll click on login and then it's telling us that we have logged in successfully and it's taking us to the back end of the software so the back end is here and then we are ready and good to go with our software. So um, that is how you are supposed to do it. So please follow the steps very well. And if you have any difficulties, don't hesitate to leave comments on the video. And I will attend to all your comments. So please stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. And the live videos, comments, and then share as well. So the trend shall keep on going. So please don't forget the trend. So stay tuned to our next tutorial coming up on your way. So stay blessed.